Hello Spartans, this is Superintendent Miller, and I've got a special guest today with Riding with Rob, and this is one of our board members, Miss Julie Prox. Hello. Julie, how are you today? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm fantastic, and Julie has been a board member now, I believe for eight years, yes. and we were talking before we went live here today about how the growth of our district, I think when Julie became a board member for the first time, we had about 5,500 students, and we're now over eight thousand students and in the next eight years that number will go over ten thousand maybe so it's it's really crazy to look at the growth in Bixby but you've been there in the middle of it to watch and this is your third bond issue yes uh, so 2016 and 2022 and we have uh, the opportunity to put this smaller bond issue out today uh, but it is just as important that people get out and vote Absolutely. for this one. And I noticed you already got your yes, sticker. I have already voted this morning. Wow. I was the number one voter at my precinct in Broken Arrow. And just a reminder, even though my address is Broken Arrow, since I live in Bixby Public Schools in the district, you can vote. So if you live in Jenks, Broken Arrow, Tulsa, you can still go vote for this bond that, as long that, as you're in the district. That's a great point because some people are confused often. Yes because of the way those boundaries work. But this is an important bond, and I know I've, I've shared uh, the items that are on this, but uh, the new ninth grade gym, and dance facility, uh, land south of the river, because again, we know that that growth is gonna continue on this side, and we need to get some land so that we uh, can start planning for a new elementary school That's uh, sometime in the next few years. Uh, we know we're going to have to expand our middle school and ninth grade center as these enrollments continue to grow. Uh, and then uh, technology, uh, the uh, Jinx, or uh, not Jinx, but <laughs> <laughs> Bixby uh, is going to be uh, the first Apple district in this part of the state. That's and very exciting. It really is. And we've got some training this coming Friday with our high school, uh, which will be our first site that goes full Apple next year so uh, exciting times here in Bixby yeah and I've spoke with several teachers who are very excited about that it's gonna be a really cool thing for this district it, it really is so when you look at the growth of our district and you know again you've seen that firsthand mm -hmm. uh, what do you attribute that to just why are so many families moving here to Bixby I think it attributes to our great the great teachers that we have our district mm -hmm. just the community the feeling of community I think people here are engaged in their district they're excited to be here and again I think we have some of the greatest teachers in the in the region so I think that draws people to here it really is and it's that small town feel yeah, still for sure. even though we're growing and I know you uh, spend a lot of time at the Bixby Outreach Center yes yes. Uh, that that sort of community vibe as well not just the faith-based community but the organizations that are there to help all families in yes. Bixby uh, be successful and we really uh, love the opportunity to work with our kids and families every single day here at Bixby Public Schools. Uh, what else would you like to share about the, the bond issue today? And, uh, I know that these typically, these smaller bond issues, don't get as many yeah. voters out. And that's really important because of what's called the 60% supermajority. Uh, Oklahoma law requires school districts, municipalities to have 60%, which is a lot. Yes. So we've got to get people out, out. to vote. I think uh, I was looking the last bond we had like 2,200 people voted and right. we have what 7,000 students enrolled in this district so over 7,000. Yeah, 8,000. 8, yeah, yeah. Gosh, see it so, through. Right. So, um, <laughs> yeah it really encouraged people to get out and vote. I, again I think it took me maybe five minutes from the time I got out of my car right. went in voted. Um, it's it, the only thing on the ballot. It today. was the only thing on the ballot. Two questions, very simple, very quick. Um, if you can carve out ten minutes of your day to go vote, it would help us tremendously, and it makes a huge difference for this district and the kids in our district. That, that is, and because if this bond doesn't pass, then we've got to look yes. at how how to support these initiatives without that, or have to craft a new bond and come back. But. It is important to be able to take care of some of these needs now so that when the next big bond comes up in 27 or 28, that we will be able to really devote that again for building classrooms and schools and, and meeting the needs of our students and families in Bixby. 
Yeah, because you'd rather actually, we'd rather put money into the classrooms. Bond money helps us so that we can keep class sizes low and direct our funds towards other things that help with teacher pay and to help with keeping class sizes low. So this is good for the other things like the big issues like school right. buses and Apple and you're, train and... Yeah, you're, you're exactly right because yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes people don't understand the difference between the funds that we yeah. use and general fund is what goes to pay our salaries. Almost 90% of our general fund goes to pay for our staff and our certified teachers and all that. But uh, these monies for technology and textbooks uh, and other building projects either have to come from our building fund or from bond dollars, because if we don't have funds there, then they have to dip into our general fund, which then affects how many teachers we can hire. So yes. again, uh, very important that you get out and vote today. Uh, be like Julie, be, well, I don't know if you can be the first one, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, it's you not a race. <laughs> You have until 7 p.m. tonight, so uh, please get out and show your support for Bixby Public Schools. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you.